quest to change the way Barbadians treat garbage disposal has become a form of artistic expression for some students at the Frederick Smith Secondary School. Project Love, this Bins for BIM initiative, saw students using trash cans as art canvases to encourage proper garbage disposal at school and in their communities while sharing positive messages. Organized by founder of Eco Rebel Barbados, Dominic Tudor, in collaboration with Maverick Sports Club, it was a way to boost student morale following a tragic incident at the school in November 2019. Project Love was conceptualized as an uplifting initiative that we would um, do with Frederick Smith Secondary School students where they could use our expression and dance expression to you know, be motivated to come together and do something positive. And we collaborated with Mavericks because then we have the sports um, focus as well as the community service and, and creative uh, focus. We uh, were supposed to launch with 100 students painting bins at Frederick Smith School. This was on the 18th of March. And then because of COVID-19, we had to change our plans. So. What we did was we delivered the bins to 40 students and we gave them the paints and supplies and let them come up with their own creative ideas and let them express how they wanted to express themselves on the bins and through art. At the launch, Principal Major Michael Boyce endorsed the environmental and creative approach of Project Love's Bins for BIM initiative. He said it complemented internal efforts aimed at enhancing the culture at the Frederick Smith Secondary School. Firstly, this initiative provided an additional therapeutic avenue through art for some of our students to cope with the tragedy which had then befallen our secondary school, as well as the recent losses of other students before close family and friends. Secondly, it was another opportunity through which the talent and the creativity of our students could be shared with the community, thereby assisting with providing some very positive publicity for the school. Students were keen to participate, as it provided a positive coping mechanism for affected students. We visited the home of a first farmer who painted a garden theme on her bin, along with a message for her schoolmates. My name is Zaria. I go to school at the Frederick Smith Secondary School. Seeing that blood there, that, that, met, that met me, that had me freak out because it never happened before at school. They would usually have fights, not they that serious. I put peace and love on the can because I want his, I want these children at Frederick Smith Secondary School to stop fighting. Zaria's mom said she was pleased with Project Love as well as her daughter's message. Choosing peace and love would have reflected on the incident that happened at the school last year. Um, that impacted her in a big way. So you have a child like that. Um, at a young age and they're asking for peace amongst the children and that's what we want because we are seeing too many fighting and them against one another they're too young for that so something like that is positive and that pushes the children to be together and if they start like that you know they would have a positive ending the next stop was the home of a third farmer who painted a can of dreams using an artistic style called doodling my name is Nathan Highland. I go to school at Frederick Smith Secondary School. What you doing here is doodling. So it's when you, mix, when you put art together and mix it up. Well, I like art because I know it was on the table. I was like four, so so I started to like take up a pencil and get my old sketch, my old school book, and start to draw. Then I started drawing, I started getting like in it to write, right? And then I learned a little bit more about art. Art is like express yourself. I really want people to look at my art for true. It makes it make them feel happy and tame. I want like I want the earth. I want people to start down pain, garbage in the earth and all of that. The death at the school also affected Nathan emotionally. For him, coping became more challenging when traveling on public transportation as some persons directed negative comments to children of the Frederick Smith Secondary School. My mother lost a son and the whole school went into a park. 
Cause see, I saw gap on the bus, right? Let's see, I watch your. Let's hear, hear some boys say, like keep on they say good children. Oh, do they wake up? They might kill me too. And that had me feel very sad, right? I felt kind of sad. Mm -hmm. I wait to. Cause you must take. Cause that boy do something wrong. You think we all could do something wrong? That ain't, that ain't, that ain't cool to do. You don't know, you don't know you could be hurting people feelings when you see the same like that. I could hurt, I could hurt bad. The, the message I'm trying to give people is that St. James is not a bad place. St. James children are grabbing for opportunities right now. Nathan's mom endorses his sentiments. How did he get involved in this project? Well, his social studies teacher. She, she was very clever in speaking to him like a little interview and um, asking him about certain things. And then he brought up that he loves animation. And they went on back and forth, what is anime and what is animation. And then she actually said, well, OK, I'm going to include you. And from the time the can came, it was like, what well, am I going to put on this mommy? And uh, I said, it's up to you. So at night, he's, he's, that's when he does his drawings and his paintings at night. When I'm sleeping, he's drawing. So he just began to draw. He started with the girl's head. And from there, it was like all these things was going in the head. So I asked him if the girl is going mad. He, she said, no, the girl is dreaming. So from there on, I said, well, then you need a quote. So I was saying, saying to him, why not think big? I said, mommy, I don't like think big. So he said, dream big. He said, because I'm going to put all the dreams inside of the head. So what are some of the positives you see coming out of a project like this? It's Nathan's way of expressing himself and also is Nathan's chance for other people to see his work because the majority of Nathan's work is inside in his art bag. But, you know, at school you can just show a little bit, but at home he's always drawing. So this is his way. A project like this gives him the opportunity to not only show his artwork, but to be a part of something positive. And also with school, um, highlight and show that Frederick Smith has got talented people in it because a lot of people put down Frederick Smith. So this is this time for Frederick Smith students to actually shine. Ms. Highland believes the creative decor on the bins could encourage more persons to use them and hopefully care for the environment. When you see your work on a bin and you encourage people to put trash inside the bin instead of opposing, to put it on the outside and you're keeping Barbados clean, you're making your environment healthy. So this is a positive, really, really positive effort. Initiatives such as this project, Bins for BIM, help with the formation of character. They provide an outlet for positive self-expression while reminding of civic responsibility to care for the environment as we seek to remind others to do the same. Such was the power of Project Love that it was extended to the disabled community and youngsters in the Maverick Sports Club. You may be wondering, why are the Barbados Council for the Disabled? Why would we want to launch? Why would we want to be a part of this initiative? The late Sir Frederick Smith, not only was he known for his political endeavors, for his work in the legal fraternity, but he was also the president of the Barbados Association for the Blind and Deaf, one of the founding members of the Barbados Council for the Disabled. This project was to have been launched on the 18th of March, as Major Boyce has already said. And March, as everyone knows, is commemorated in Barbados as the Month of the Disabled. Therefore, at that time, we felt it was most fitting to honor Sir Frederick Smith in this way by partnering with Eco Rebel and Maverick Sports Club to take this initiative to their school, reminding the students of the importance not only to care for the environment, but to partner with other persons within the community with whom they may feel they have little in common. It brings about common interests, common understanding, and common appreciation of all the good things that we have to celebrate in this life. My name is LaVon Williams. I am 21 years old. I love music. I was born blind. LaVon endorsed Project Love, and she had a powerful message to share. 
even if it makes others uncomfortable, it will love me. That means you don't, you don't worry about what people have to say. You will love yourself, don't care what happened. I did that to show people that don't care what problems you have, you can still love yourself. Well, me, as a visually impaired person, that anybody could do anything. We then caught up with the youngsters from Maverick Sports Club, who worked together to produce their masterpiece. Hi, my name is Lani Chandler. I am from Maverick Sports Club. I go to Commonwealth School. And these are my friends, Tikal and Canada, Shamar Smith in the white, and to the back is a Johnny Strong, also from Mavericks. Our idea was mainly to get out certain messages. So we did add some type of art concept onto it, which we drew some animals, a fox, a, a bird, and catching a worm for the um, that court. And then we also, we also written on a couple of Bible verses to help um, uplift anyone who passes and reads it to remember to keep a positive mindset. It has honestly brought us closer together in terms of we have to communicate and actually like bring our ideas together. Um, I believe that doing this project, I believe that it can help to encourage other children that are seeing us or see the can to find something very productive to be doing during this time, especially Outside of the electronical classes, we could find something positive to be done and it will keep us all working in some form or fashion. Through netball, football, homework assistance, teamwork activities, competitions and tours overseas, the youngsters in Maverick Sports Club are equipped with positive life skills. With the aim of exposing its members to community service, the club partnered with Eco Rebel to offer Project Love. It teaches them that life is more than just being in a club. It is now working within the community that you live in, uh, working with children from other schools because m most of those, those children from the club, they were from Commonwealth and the Lord School. Now they've uh, exposed to the Frederick Smith School and doing projects with the Frederick Smith School. So it embodies the whole camaraderie, working together, working together as a team and helping them to understand that they have to do good service to others. And of course the environment and communities will benefit. A lot of people don't have bins, a lot of houses, they don't have um, access for the truck. So, you know, all of these things would lead to people just having areas where it become dumping grounds. So this is like a step in making people rethink waste, how they, how they see it, how they look at it. And then from there, I think you could then make the other steps into separating and recycling. The project Bins for BIM under the Project Love program that we're running here can certainly enhance communities across Barbados. When you pass, and you see bins alongside the road and they are beautifully created like what we are seeing the children pull together as well as the other bins that Eco Rebel would have put together before. It enhances the environment. It gives you a good feeling because anyone passing and seeing them, they see how beautiful they're painted. You can certainly enjoy them that way. And it also teaches persons that there are bins available for use and not to drop the garbage along the road. So go ahead and use the bins. Project Love culminated with a competition where members of the public voted for their favorite bins on Instagram. Nathan Highland emerged the winner, followed by Ashandre Scott Headley and Kareem Marshall. Some of the bins have been donated to the St. James Parish Church and the Hotong Police Station. Others will be placed at the Frederick Smith Secondary School, Maverick Sports Club in Orange Hill, St. James, and the Police Sports Club, Wim of St. Michael.